What is M-Tech course? A uh, person from BB and uh, BC also can pursue M-Tech or uh, they don't have a chance. Like, but uh, how M-Tech course is going to uh, be a good career opportunity in their life? Like uh, what are the packages, uh, in case of packages or in case of, in case of uh, career growth, like the scope of M-Tech? If you are doing a B-Tech from a reputed university and you are already getting a good placement, definitely you will not be thinking about doing an M-Tech. So the packages, even they start uh, uh, from 16 lakhs or 15 lakhs and they go up to 20, 25. Very good afternoon sir. This is Maheshwar from uh, MBA First Year and uh, my channel name is GM Talks. Hello viewers, welcome to GM Talks by Maheshwar Gurti. So till now we are uh, doing the videos on business ideas and how to earn money and startup ideas even. Now I am going to start a new chapter like how a student need to choose his career like into what before going into some course like MCA, MBA, BBA, BCA or etc. While entering into that course what type of things a student need to put in his mind? What type of things a student can achieve while after entering into that course? And what is his career aspects and each and everything we need to learn before going into some course. So let us uh, talk to Dr. Subramaniam sir and learn how the courses are going to be available in university, KL University and also what are the courses and what are the career achievements one student in KL University can learn. Hello sir. So uh, sir, um, firstly like what is M-Tech course? M-Tech is a Master of Technology. Okay. Those who complete a, a four year graduate program like a Bachelor of Technology or Bachelor of Engineering or it has BE or B-Tech. Those who complete uh, those courses are eligible to do an MTech program. Okay. MTech is a two years degree program. Okay. This is a full time. Okay. So we offer each every department, like uh, uh, each and every engineering department, yes. uh, runs different MTech programs in K University. Okay. Like for example, if you take MTech uh, ECE, ECE department is offering uh, MTech in VLSI, MTech in robotics. Yes. Uh, likewise. Uh, computer Science Engineering, uh, CSE is offering MTech CSE, yes, where there are some inherent specializations like uh, AIDS, Artificial Intelligence and Data Science is an inherent specialization yes. where they get an MTech in CSE yes. with a specialization in AIDS. Okay. Similarly, they have another specialization like Cyber Security. Okay. That means they will be getting an MTech CSE degree yes. with a Cyber Security specialization. Okay. So a Cyber Security specialization, they will be doing five special courses in cyber security. Okay. So they can do cyber security or they can do AIDS, okay. artificial intelligence and data science. Okay. So they will be doing uh, five specialization courses. Similarly, if you take uh, a civil engineering, yes. so a civil engineering department is offering uh, MPEX structures okay. and construction technology management. Yes. There are two different uh, courses offered by civil engineering. Okay. And mechanical engineering, okay. they are offering uh, machine design, yes. thermal engineering. Yes. So exactly like uh, biotechnology, he yes. is offering a, a biotechnology program, also master's in uh, biotechnology. Yes. And Triple E department yes. is offering uh, power electronics and power systems, yes. uh, which is and uh, the electrical vehicle technology, which is very much uh, now going to play a crucial role in the coming days. Yes. So all the courses uh, based on the industry inputs, we mod modify yes. and uh, based on that we prepare the curriculum and accordingly we offer those contact programs in here. Okay, thank you so much sir. And uh, uh, sir, is it, is it something like uh, a person from BB and uh, BC also can pursue MTech or uh, they don't have a chance? Like? No, uh, strictly saying, uh, if you want to do an MTech, what is required is a BTech. Okay. Else, you have to do a master's before, like for example, if you do a BCA, you can do an MCA okay. and an MCA graduate can do again MTech. Okay. So the eligibility is like 4 year degree because BCA is a 3 year degree. Yes. So by doing an MCA, okay. they are eligible to do MTech. Okay. Similarly, even a, a BSc uh, graduate, like a BSc Physics, Chemistry, Mass or whatever, yes. He can do an MSc in Mathematics or an MSc in Physics or an MSc in Chemistry, whatever, okay. and then he is eligible to do a Masters. Okay. And not other branches, okay. only an MTech in Computer Science, okay. for which the eligibility criteria is not only a BTech but also an MSc or MC. Okay, sir. Okay. So, uh, for a person who is going to enter into MTech, no? like what type of internships 
or uh, whatever job they need to do before entering into mtech like uh, it will be helpful somehow uh, after entering into uh, mtech course for entering mtech we don't see there is a requirement of internship okay uh, they can just complete their btech and then then join mtech okay but as and when they join mtech yes we do give them internships okay. during the first semester itself yes. like big big companies like uh, uh, recently dell okay uh, and intel yes so what they do is they uh, conduct the test yes. in the first semester itself yes and they take them as interns okay that means in the second semester itself they go to company okay. they complete one year internship there yes and the project also will be completed there okay. and they will come back and they get their degree as well as the placement Okay. So after completion of the internship, the company will place them. Okay. So the internship before joining MTech is not mandatory. Okay. But after joining MTech, there are uh, several scopes. Yes. Several uh, companies will come and they may take the students as interns, yes. and they will be doing internship uh, from up to nine months or one year. And after that, they may absorb the the company may absorb the candidates. Yes. And they pay also. So okay. this is how the process will go. and also many of the students having doubt that uh, how mtech course is going to uh, be a good career opportunity in their life like uh, what are the packages uh, in case of packages or in case of in case of uh, career growth like the scope of mtech yeah that is a very good question so i want to say if you are doing a btech from a reputed university yes. and you are already getting a good placement yes. definitely you will not be thinking about being an mtech okay So a graduate, a student from uh, a reputed institute already who got uh, a placement or a better opportunity uh, can work, and then maybe if he wants to advance his career, yes. uh, enhance his knowledge, then we suggest him to go to the uh, undergraduate. Or if you are unable to get a, a placement through your B.Tech program. Then also, it is better to straight away join the MTech program in uh, universities like Yale, okay. so that you will have an opportunity, uh, ample opportunities across, okay. and uh, you can do the MTech program while doing itself. You may be going for the internship in a good uh, company and uh, so on. Yes. So exactly the skills that you are going to learn yes. will be different from what you are learning in BTech because what you learn there is an undergraduate level skill. Here we focus on a postgraduate level skill, so it will be more specialized or more focused okay. when compared to an undergraduate degree. Okay. So obviously the opportunities will be compared to an undergraduate student uh, for a postgraduate student, opportunities will be more specialized okay. and more focused. Okay. So the packages even they start uh, uh, from 16 lakhs or 15 lakhs and they may go up to 20, 25. It depends on. The type of program that you are doing and the, the, uh, the company that is going to select. Okay. Uh, and also, like, how Kerala University students are uh, pursuing their uh, uh, MTech and what are the career opportunities that they are getting? Like, uh, usually the comp- uh, right now, like, uh, regression is work, uh, going on, sir. So, in this current situation, what are the opportunities they are getting and how the uh, how far they are using the opportunity? Yeah. At KL, we never worry about any recession or anything. Yes. Why? Because we train our students from day one. Okay. We have an exclusive placement cell, okay. training cell, yes. where there are about 60 trainers. Okay. Uh, the uh, soft skills trainers, uh, 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 VQR trainers, okay. verbal one reasoning trainers, technical trainers. Okay. So about 60. That is a, a different cell. Okay. So from day one, when they join the program at KL. So uh, they will be given uh, campus recruitment training. Okay. So where exactly all the students will be participating, yes. and they will be what they are before is immaterial to us. Okay. So when they join KL, yes. they, they they will be focused on the training. Okay. And all the training, so like uh, as I mentioned, some of them may be coming from rural background, and they may be feeling uh, they, they are not have uh, having the communication skills and all. Yes. All these things once they join KL. During our training session, we identify their weakness and we focus on that. Yes, we make it as a strength at the end of the program. So by the end of the program, they will be uh, equipped with technical skills, verbal skills, quant and reasoning skills, and so on. Yes. So that 
definitely so that is the advantage of KL I'm, I'm trying to say yes. so that any time by, by the company by the completion of the first year itself okay. they are ready to be uh, joining a they are ready for joining a, a company yes. so the companies will be coming and uh, recruiting them as I told you even some of them in the first semester itself have joined uh, as interns in uh, several companies yes. so that is that, that's how it happens in Okay. So we never worry about the recession or anything because we are confident of our training. Yes. We are confident of our uh, students, our, our faculty, our faculty, our uh, strength, and they focus on training or imparting the skills. Okay. And therefore, uh, we are confident of uh, placing or uh, giving a good career opportunity for each and every student. Okay. So, sir, uh, for the students who has completed their B.Tech or other courses, which will be. Uh, uh, making them eligible for uh, like uh, getting into MTech now. For those type of students who wanted to get into KL University, what is the uh, thing which you would like to say? Like, uh, what are the opportunities they are going to get in KL University? So they wanted to come here and join. Yeah, obviously, uh, a student who wants to join KL, uh, as I mentioned already, the advantage uh, in KL MTech program is in the first semester itself. We we have our in-house CRT training, yes, sir. and it is it is like a continuous 15 days. Okay. So it is nine to five continuously, uh, ten to fifteen days. Yes, sir. Not only the training, we also bring in some external trainers yes, from other companies, and they give additional training. Okay. So this is related to uh, the company-specific training and so on. Okay. Of course, our academics is very strong. Yes. Our uh, we have uh, more than 100% uh, doctorates only will be teaching the MTech programs. Okay. All the fac faculty who are teaching the uh, MTech program are doctoral degree holders, yes. so PhD holders. Yes. So we are confident of academics, yes. and we are uh, also at the same time. We give the uh, CRT training, yes, and therefore, apart from the normal academics, they will have the uh, the skills required by the companies. Okay. And therefore, when once they join the KL, yes, uh, what happens is they are like uh, in a safe hand. Okay. So we will make sure that uh, they get uh, the right job or opportunity that they are looking at. Okay. It is not only the job or uh, only the career in one company. Yes. We make them. We make sure that they become independent. Yes. Sir. Because it's a postgraduate program. Yeah. Once they become independent, obviously they, they become entrepreneurs at one point of time. Yes. Sir. And they are not only going to be job seekers. They are going to be even uh, job givers at one point of time. We have uh, alumni who are. Uh, uh, across the globe yes. and many of them especially from US yes. of course there are many CEOs there okay. uh, so which shows the commitment of KL yes. uh, from the past 40 years okay. it's not only the, the institution is not a one year or two year old yes. it's a 40 year old yes. so we are uh, confident of our uh, programs okay. and our alumni yes. Uh, and also like uh, is there any eligibility criteria or exams uh, for entering into a tech course or uh, just be tech We have uh, an inter entry entrance also okay. uh, for PG programs we have a special entrance yes. uh, They can take uh, entrance, the entrance will be conducted uh, twice in a year okay. uh, During the beginning itself already one phase over okay. There are about uh, 15,000 have taken the entrance exam okay. And the second phase is going to happen in April yes. So, uh, so they, 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 that, through that they can come. Okay. Apart from that, those who are uh, able to get a gate score. Yes. So after BTEC, if they complete the gate, yes. and the gate score, they are straight away they can come to uh, campus and get the uh, the, uh, the offer uh, of the MTech program. Yes. And when they come out with these kind of uh, uh, gate score or uh, our uh, PG test or even PG set uh, score, they will be given scholarships. Okay. So merit scholarship. Okay. So the, the merit scholarship is up to even hundred percent. Okay. So depending on the the score that we are getting. Okay. If you are getting a, a, a ninety percentile or whatever in a gate, yes. definitely it is a hundred percent scholarship. Okay. 
and a PG set rank uh, below 500. Yes, yes, you are eligible for 100 percent. Okay, and if you are in your B.Tech itself, you are getting more than 90 percent. Yes, you are eligible for 100 percent scholarship. Okay, so the, that is a merit scholarship scheme that is available in uh, PG programs uh, in uh, PAIR. Okay, so we we want to encourage the, the, the university encourages meritorious students. Okay, so that they are going to build the nation in the yes. future. Yes. So that is the purpose of giving the merit scholarship. So, and the final, last and final question, sir, like, uh, are there any students uh, who are currently having, I mean, uh, got their concession, free concession or, uh, I mean, like, uh, scholarships, like, who are studying in this? Uh, yes, uh, there are about uh, 200 students doing these programs okay. as of now from the past 20 to 24, yes. and about 119 students have got merit scholarships. Okay. Out of 119, we have 39 students who have got uh, 100% merit scholarship. Okay. So in uh, KO, if you want to do MTech, okay. if you uh, satisfy the criteria, as just I mentioned, like you have, you are having more than 90% in your BTEC, or uh, if you are having a weight score, valid weight score, or if you are uh, PG sets qualified uh, with a, a good rank, you are eligible. Yes. So it is not only 100%. So we have few students, about 25% seats, they will get 75% uh, scholarship. Yes. Another 25% students, they will get another 50% uh, uh, scholarship. Yes. Another 25% students, they will get 25% scholarship. Okay. So scholarships are available for all the uh, students who are uh, ready to join the MTech programs in yes. So you are going to join a, a program in KL means you are getting a merit scholarship yes. and you are getting uh, the CRP training or internship or a placement, yes. it is all uh, part of our uh, curriculum or it is part of our practice. So, so KO means placement. Yes. Uh, KL is known for placement for every program, yes. including the MTech programs that we are running. Oh. Okay. Thank you so much, sir, for giving your precious time. So, guys, now we have seen that Dr. K. Subramaniam, sir, the principal of MTech department, all the MTech departments. Uh, he has spoken very uh, effectively, like very friendly and he has uh, mentioned all his thoughts on MTech course like what is MTech course, how our MTech course is going to evolve in this uh, uh, current era and also what are the career opportunities that an MTech student is having uh, in the current market. So guys, this is the content regarding the MTech course. Uh, I'll keep on doing videos on different courses available uh, for our students and also uh, please suggest me in the comment box that what course you would like to know from the next video onwards like uh, if you mention that course then i'll be moving to that professor and that uh, head of the department and i will be making those videos and uh, you can also put what are the doubts you are having regarding that course and what you wanted to learn and what you wanted to know before entering that course and uh, each and everything i'll be mentioning and i'll be asking questions to the professionals and i'll be letting you know through my video so guys please comment like and subscribe to my youtube channel gm talks by mahesh ogardi thank you